Hello everyone, Sheila here and welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I will be doing a tutorial on how to turn um, this stamp into a kind of a mermaid. Um, which I will show you the picture of the card that we will be doing today. Okay, so I don't have that card anymore in my hand because I sent it out already for the show. So yeah, so we will be doing that. And um, yeah, so the main um, stamp will be this one, the Dragon Dance. So she's a fairy, but I turn her into a mermaid. Yeah, okay. So... And um, with that, I have a, the nautical, um, the nautical collection. So I used some of the pieces in the um, Naresa, um, the I call that one the starfish here. So I used that. And then for the seahorse, if you have them, I use this one here. And also the um, sea turtle. I used, um, I, so, and I also use the sea turtle for this part here. This um, seaweeds on the part of her head. And then the Pinky Inky, which is um, this one here. So I use this part and the, sh uh, the seashell here. So this one is very useful. It's a school of fish. And I just love that. So that's what we will be doing. But if you don't have, you only have this and you don't have um you know this um nautical series so you can use the one that if you have a few of this one or else you have it in the stash already about you know like um uh, related to sea stamps so you can just add it onto the head okay so yeah it's up to you but if you have this um this nautical series um stamp so you can easily go and choose which one do you want to put into the um the headpiece here okay so yeah so because i have a lot of these um stamps i collected them so that's why i just you use them yeah so i'll just put that one aside so if you just have this one you're good to go you just um you know look into your stash look for seashells any real seashells you can just have some seaweeds or something like that so anything that is kind of um sea theme related you can just add that one onto the hair though but um yeah and i also want to show you And also the main um, the main stamp that I used is this Elegance um, frame series. Um, this is the frame that I used. Um, let me just show you. This comes like that. And um, yeah, comes like that. So I'm using, um, I use the corner here, and then I used, I stamped this one, and I used some of the just a portion in this one here, I will show you later, to um, frame the whole, um, the whole art. Okay. So, so, 
So to start with, um, I have here a backing fold um, watercolor paper. So you can um, purchase this one in um, Pink Ink Design website. Um, since we, I'm going to do a watercolor on the background, but I'm going to color this one in Copics or in alcohol markers. And yeah, it's easier to do a skin tone like that. And yeah, so so yeah, any watercolor you have, but this this um, I would recommend this backing forward watercolor paper is just um, easy to use and it it goes um, you know it I love it on to if you call if you used um, alcohol markers on this one is perfect it um, it's perfect for alcohol any medium so it's worth um, investing for this paper okay so we're going to stamp the main image so we will center her somewhere there yes yeah over there okay now yeah just remove that so I'm going to stamp this one with tuxedo black by memento because I'm going to use my alcohol markers for this one so for the skin tone I'll be using E00 E21 and then E33 okay and um, yeah so usually I just you know either way I start with the dark one and or the lightest one but yeah so um, for this um, tutorial I will start with the lightest one or I we will start with the um, the darkest one so I just want to map up the um, you know the dark um, the darker the shadow I mean the shadow of the skin so yeah either you can do this one you start with the darker one or the lightest um, tone so in coloring skin you can you can just get um, you can either just color um, you know you just only need three colors this is my um, skin tone go-to um, yeah I always use this one um, and I'm comfortable with this one so I hope you are um, yeah so even if you want to invest on a skin tone you only need if you like this um, skin tone you only need this three the E00, E21 and E33 so this is the lightest tone the mid tone and the dark um, the dark um, tone Okay, so most of that, this one is your shadow, um, and then this one is, you know, yeah, something like that. So, um, then the E00 is the one that you always um, go back to blend, to blend your colors so that there won't be something like lines on it. Yeah, so this is my go-to um, skin tone. I am comfortable with this one. So, if you like that one... Um, you just need to invest on this tree you're good to go okay um, and after you buy this um, this tree Copics um, pen you just invest on a refill on it so it's cheaper that way so that's how I um, collect my Copics I buy those pens and then um, I just collect um the refill yeah so you, you don't need all the colors in copics you just need three colors of each um you know colors and you'll be you'll be okay yeah okay so going to start so i'm just going to um map out my shadow so most of the shadow will have to be under the um near the hairline 
so it's there and yeah just there so we just kind of outline the shape of the face like so um, I guess I have more um, kind of um, tutorial about skin tone I might go on um, I mean do a video on skin tone alone like um, Copics and um, watercolor, yeah, in the future. And just there, the sh just shape that a little bit. Okay, and then over here, just there, that. So as you can see. Um, it's shaping already just a little bit there yeah and then a little bit there yeah so as you can see you can see the kind of shadow so that will be your base and then you will do um, the mid tone so something like that and you just kind of go back to it so and yeah, just follow the um and make sure you kind of shape it a little bit you know that's why i i love um copics especially when you're coloring this a bit um larger stamps with the uh, you know you need larger skin tone um yeah it's easier to color because of their brush because it's the brush is bigger um the pro markers the pro markers is it's a good um alcohol markers i use them a lot too but the only thing is if you're coloring something like as big as this one it's a bit longer because the um the brush of the pro marker is a bit smaller so yeah so um and um, besides i got used to this one so yeah so just kind of i guess that's all right so then he will go to your um the lightest tone and then you will just blend it all like so uh, there's something next okay I need to refill this. So here is the refill um, refill of the Copex. This is the E00. I need to refill this. And besides, it's easy to do this one. So it comes like that if you don't um, know about the refill. Um, in here, they're um, retail at 8.99 euro. But you can get a lot of... Um, refill out of it I just just drop some there I don't really count that much so the, the easiest one to refill this one is um, this nib here this is the one you pull out and then just um, you know refill it like that yeah so I need another one of this one. This is um, I always use this um, color. This is my always use this color to blend my skin tone. Okay. 
like that. And we got the so I'm going back with the eight E twenty one. And then E00, just to blend that there. The brush tip is already worn out, but still okay. want to darken that now in the um, in the stump when you see all those lines like that that's helps you to um, that's where your shadow will be so just follow that so that's why coloring is just very easy all those lines that the artist did is that's that those are shadows for you to darken so yeah like that so you just darken that part yeah just follow those things and you're okay so um so in this case the light source is the front oh uh, is on the front um facing her so um i want to darken that so darken each side of the neck so your light, the lighter one will be on the front. So then you add E21. Yeah, to shape the neck like that. And then E00 to blend the whole thing. And then for the skin, you go back to, you just build it up and then um you think it's okay then yeah so that's how i color my skin tone and yeah something like that I the sh eyeshadow I guess. Uh, now here is the pro markers. As you can see, it's a very small brush. So if you're going to do that one with the um with a big um you know stamp like this and covering for skin tone, so I find that that um, Copics is better than that one. But if you don't have if you don't have Copics, you only have pro markers. You can still you you can do it but um i just for me i just love the mark the copics because um because of their brush so there she is there i just just want to kind of um add some blue there and yeah i have here a v oh bvo2 where's the yeah okay no one focus but anyway it's bvo2 and i just want to kind of um it's more like kind of a bluey uh bluey purple i just want to add that one into the eyes so that it will just kind of tone out the 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 white part and it's kind of dim the the um, eyes like that then we will highlight and we will um, darken the one later okay so she looks nice
it just always have a always have a red hair so I'll color her with red hair so I'm I'm using the um the red um one that they use for her lipstick okay So um, yeah, you can just go and over that one. It's okay because we'll cover that anyway. So it's a kind of a red orangey. So um, my red will be um, kind of um, a dark, darker, or maybe. This red will be the mid-tone and I will have to have to put some orange on it. So just, just how color it like something like that. And I'm just kind of mopping the um the darker um red then I have here um, orange one this is R08 but you know you can do any orange you have so this, oh no this is not the one oh this one it's not R08, uh, it's Y, so it's Y04, so this is an orange one, a nice kind of, um, this is my highlight, so, just color that. shape later on yeah okay then there's a darker um, orange so this one is like reddish orange and you can always color it in a different color I like I always tend to do um, mermaid with a red hair like Ariel Then we'll color the eyes. So I'm not coloring or just leave some of the white. So that is the reflection of the light. Like so. And well, you know, it will come together later. And add all the bits and pieces on it now so um so i want to um what a color this one let me just refer to the original one 
Okay. So I have here a uh, multi-surface paint by Pink Ink Design. Or you can use any um, acrylic paint you have. So this is the color of this one is sea green. I love this color. And we need a brush. Okay, so um you wet that one and then you add that one somewhere just there and I'll bring yeah so So, um, so to do a finishing touches for this one, I have here a liquid um, acrylic, um, acrylic ink, and they are the um, fluorescent um, colors, so they, um, they're kind of um, very bright and transparent. Um, I use this one a lot. And it comes in a set about, I guess there were six of them. Yeah, there's six of them. They have um, these colors here. And they have pink, red, orange, green, yellow, and blue. Yeah, that's the set. And it's very useful. Um, yeah, so I just color them and then to enhance the color, um, you add this one on on the top of it and then your color will just pop so I'll um, yeah I'll, sh I'll apply that now it's my brush so um, before I add the glitter and all the finishing touches I will just add this um, acrylic ink or liquid acrylic and yeah so um, since she has kind of an orangey red I'll just add the kind of an yeah the orange here so this is the fluorescent orange just add some there and I want to add um, blue to some of the and some green okay and a little bit of pink yeah there um want to add the orange onto the here so just add that one onto 
the hair just brush there like so so especially the one on the um, that part on the front that's where the highlight is so it became a highlight for the hair okay yeah some there like that that so later on when it dries it will just pop okay so this is the one of the secret of the that I find that it's very good for coloring so I always have this and I'll just add some blue to the shells like so it just enhanced the um, color and some green like that just add some here blue too okay and maybe like that. Okay. So I'm just adding some pink on the shell just a little bit. There it is. She looks very nice. So um yeah, so I want to dry that. Okay, just want to dry that one. The next one we'll do is just like this one. The next thing we'll do is have here a watercolor. So whatever color you have. Now I went ahead and stamped the um, the frame, which is let me just see this one here. The elegance frame series and I used the, um, the corner of the stamp and um, yeah so I stamped four of this for four corners and then I also stamped the this part I guess yeah this one I was using I guess on the other card I was using this part here is the smaller one I cut it out with just that part but for this tutorial I will just use the um, this part here so we'll just join them together so I I I did um, stamp and emboss this corner here and I did four and four of this okay so what I did is that I'm I stamped it onto a black versafine um versafine glare which is this one here and then i because this one it's um this is very good for embossing and it's it will remain wet for a few um for a minute or two and then you add your um your embossing powder and then you emboss it so I emboss it with the black embossing powder okay by I guess it's by um, no I guess it's by tonic I can't remember but you know any embossing powder you have so I did black on that one and so I did four and to color and, and yeah and 
And another thing is that I stamped it and uh, embossed on a 300 GSM cardstock. But then I add another, I adhere it into um, another cardstock to make it, um, before I cut it out, I just um, adhere it to another cardstock so, so that I will have a thicker layer to make the frame. But you can always, you can just use the 300 GSM for it but I just want it to be frame um, you know very um, uh, a bit thicker so yeah so that's for myself now to color this one I did orange so we will just stick to that color so I have here um, this is by Prima this is the tropical um, start with the um, kind of a reddish color here I don't know what what this one but it's kind of um oh no I have to start with the orange I mean orange first so you just brush that there nothing fancy really so just brush the orange if you have any um any orange color you have watercolor just brush it like that and then this orange, oh, kind of a reddish orange here, just um, brush it onto the kind of a top there. And then go back to the um, lighter orange and just blend, blend it. Yeah, just to have kind of a shape and then clean your brush and then just brush some of it. Okay, so it's a kind of, um, you know, there's kind of a very orangey on top here and then lighten it down there. So, yeah. So just very easy coloring. So, um, yeah, so then you will cut that one out and it will look like um, this. Okay. So what I did is that I... I follow the um, the design on it, but I leave a little bit of um, margin. It's like a millimeter. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'll just color this one. I cut this one out already. And like that. Okay, so yeah, so that's that, and then um, I did. Don't forget the um, oh no, this is not the one. Yeah, so I went ahead and color all of them like so. So we'll assemble this. I mean, put some um, call that one three D form at the back. Just wipe this one. Okay. Yeah, so it's dry now. Now, um, to to look like she is really under the water. So the trick on this one is to um, brush. Um, I have here the. Um, fluorescent blue so this is very transparent so you need a very transparent um, paint for this so you just so what you do is just brush it across her face like so don't be afraid like that So then she will just blend to the background and 
that's a secret of <laughs> of this yeah just color it like that now then when she dries hopefully yeah she kind of toned down now huh? Kind of a bluey one, so we'll let we'll let that one dry. Like this one, and yeah, and okay, and then you will while you're waiting for that, you need to, to add. Um, glitter so this is um glitter glitter glue so i'll just add some onto the and we'll add more later on so there it is so sparkly So, um, yeah, so then I will have to do the, um, call this one, the prime, okay? Then I will fast forward it.
So here it is. She's so pretty. It's not as good as the first one I did, but you know, you will get the um, the idea. So yeah, and you just add a base card on this one and then you're good to go. But this one I will be putting this one into my craft room wall as a um, as the art piece. So I won't be adding a panel or a base card at the back. I will just add a um, thicker um, board. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy that and um, I hope you um, inspired with that tutorial and yeah so I will see you again next time if you have any question just feel free to leave a comment down in the description box below okay and thank you very much for watching everyone and I will have another video for the new release it will be coming um, maybe the next video of this one they have a new um released okay so stay tuned for that and yeah so i will see you again next time everyone bye for now and thank you for watching bye